The process of digestion is not complete without chemical digestion of the food. Just like mechanical digestion, even chemical breakdown of food is extremely important. Do you know which part helps in this process? The various digestive glands. If you like what you see on our channel, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. The glands that secrete digestive juices which contain the necessary enzymes that turn the food into smaller nutrients that our body can easily absorb are termed digestive glands. The digestive glands include salivary glands, gastric glands present in the lining of the stomach, liver, pancreas and intestinal glands. Let us begin with the salivary glands. We know that the process of digestion begins in the mouth itself. There are three pairs of salivary glands which secretes saliva. The parotid gland located just in front of and beneath each ear. The submandibular gland lying close to the inner side of the lower jaw on each side and the sublingual gland below the tongue. Ducts from each gland transport the secreted saliva into the mouth which mixes with the crushed pieces of the food. Saliva is a mixture of water, mucus and the enzyme salivary amylase which is also called tylin. The enzyme salivary amylase that is tylin begins to digest starch in the food into the sugar maltose. This explains why a piece of bread chewed very well for a long time begins to taste sweet due to the sugar maltose that is produced. Hence, we can see here that the process of digestion starts in the mouth itself. Now let us explore the gastric glands present in the lining of the stomach. The wall of the stomach has various gastric glands. Once the food reaches the stomach, the inner lining secretes gastric juice which is produced by cells present in the gastric pits in the stomach walls. So what does the gastric juice contain? The gastric juice contains hydrochloric acid which makes the medium of gastric juice acidic to aid in the digestion of proteins and also kill any bacteria that might have entered the stomach with the food. A protease enzyme called pepsin which digests the proteins present in the food and converts them into smaller molecules called polypeptides. The mucus protects the inner lining of our stomach from the highly acidic environment within it due to hydrochloric acid. The strong muscular walls of the stomach churns the food with the gastric juices and this partially digested semi-liquid form of food is called chyme. Once the chyme enters the duodenum part of the small intestine, the next two digestive glands, the liver and the pancreas, start their work. Let us understand the role of liver in the process of digestion. The liver produces a yellowish-green watery liquid called the bile and stores it in the gallbladder which flows along the bile duct into the duodenum. When the food reaches the duodenum from the stomach, it is acidic in nature due to the presence of hydrochloric acid in it. The body has to then turn the food from an acidic form to an alkaline one. This is where bile comes in. Bile contains sodium hydrogen carbonate which helps to partially neutralize the acid content of the food received from the stomach and provide the alkaline conditions needed for the enzymes in the small intestine to work. Bile also plays a very important role to emulsify fats. The bile salts break down the large drops of fat into very tiny droplets which helps in providing larger surface area 
making it easier for the enzyme lipase in the pancreatic juice to digest them into fatty acids and glycerol. This helps speed up the digestion process. Now let us understand the role of pancreas in the process of digestion. Pancreas is a cream colored gland lying just underneath the stomach. It secretes pancreatic juice which travels through the pancreatic duct into the duodenum. The pancreatic juice contains three kinds of enzymes. Pancreatic amylase which breaks down leftover starch into maltose. Trypsin, a protease enzyme which breaks down proteins to polypeptides and lipase which acts on the emulsified fats to break them down into fatty acids and glycerol. These enzymes do not work well in acidic environments. Hence, the partially acidic kind which has come from the stomach needs further neutralization. The pancreatic juice contains sodium hydrogen carbonate which helps to partially neutralize this acid in the chyme and provides an alkaline environment for the enzymes to work efficiently. Now let us understand the role of intestinal glands in the process of digestion. The walls of the small intestine have glands which secrete intestinal juice that contains different enzymes. Let us see how these enzymes help in the further breakdown of the different nutrients which have come from the duodenum part of the small intestine. Maltose is broken down by the carbohydrates enzyme maltase into glucose. The polypeptides are broken down by peptidase into amino acids and the remaining fats are digested by lipase into fatty acids and glycerol. Sucrose is broken down by the enzyme sucrase into glucose and fructose and lactose is broken down by lactase into glucose and galactose. This is how the various enzymes produced by the different digestive glands allows food to be broken down into small digestible parts and helps in completing the process of digestion. Stay tuned as we journey ahead into the world of science in our forthcoming tutorials.